Hi, my name is Rachel Yankee and you're watching Football Exclusive. Footballexclusives.co.uk Follow us on Twitter. So Rachel, why are we here today? Um, I've been asked to obviously be a mentor today and uh, I thoroughly enjoyed the experience. I have to shoot off unfortunately a little bit early uh, to get to one of my schools but um, no it's been great speaking to people and seeing how you know what they've been through and their journeys and, and obviously talking a little bit about my football journey so it's been really good. So your football journey, how did it start? Um, I started off uh, as a kid about eight years old I played for a boys team and then got told I wasn't allowed to play because I was a girl, which I was a bit distraught at. Um, and then from there, I, uh, I moved to a girls team and, and discovered that there was a, a massive world of, of, of women's football that I'd never even knew about. Um, went on to play for Arsenal um, and then England and, and through that, just been to many different countries and, and played you know, various amount of times for England and Arsenal and, and won loads of lovely medals and stuff like that. So it's uh, it's been fantastic and I think, you know, for me without football, you know, I, God knows where I would have been. I wasn't I wasn't academically the best at school. Uh, you know, I, I enjoyed school but it, it wasn't what I was into and I love playing football and I think it's uh, it's opened up the world for me and, uh, you know, created new things. How do you feel when you represent your country? Oh, it's massive. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's one of those things that I, I really find hard to describe. Um, you know, it's such an honour to, to put on the kit and, and feel such pride that, you know, not many people are, are actually able to do that. And, um, you know, to think that you're one of the best in the country and you're going out there and, you know, a little bit of pressure as well. You know, you've got to be, uh, you know, you've got to be a role model. You've got to set an example. Um, for the country and for your teammates and stuff like that. So, um, but no, it's, it's definitely something that, that I've had the opportunity to do. I've, I've loved doing it, and uh, one of those things I know it'll end some point, but I don't want it to stop. <laughs> you speak about role models. Do you, th you find there's many role models in football today? Um, yeah, I think I think there is. I, I, I think um, you know the whole of football needs to actually. Um, be better role models some people I, I think that we need to educate the younger players a lot better in in showing our actions and what we do um, I realize you know once you step across that line you play football you know you sort of turn into a kid again and you, the passion sort of sometimes takes over and you do make mistakes we all make mistakes and um, you know I think it takes a bigger person to come out afterwards and then uh, you know express and, and make sure they they teach and educate youngsters that you know, I made a mistake that wasn't what I went to do, and you know, I'll learn from that, and uh, you know, hopefully, don't follow in the in the same footsteps. But you know, for footballers, we want to go out there and and, and teach people, because football is a powerful message that you can get across. I think about education. I hear you just just opened up your own soccer school. Tell us about that. Um, yeah, I, I started working when I left Fulham Football Club. Uh, we were professionals about 2004, 2005. And um, I had no job. <laughs> I didn't know what I wanted to do. And um, I went into coaching. I, I was very fortunate. I, I spoke to a lady down at Brent Council who, um, who said that she had some funding for me to run some football uh, coaching programs in schools. And after that, schools kept me on and enjoyed what I did. And, and I've grown it now as my own company. I've got a, a team of coaches going out into schools. So um, all around Brent and Harrow. So uh, it's where I come from. So, you know, I feel. It's a good thing for me, obviously I, I enjoy doing it, it's a passion of mine and um, you know, it's something to, to give back into, into football. I also run a uh, voluntary football club uh, just for you know, any kids in the community, no matter of their ability or their gender, uh, you know, they can come and play and just somewhere, something for them to do on a weekend. Thank you very much. No problem, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. exclusives.co.uk